Hey everybody, this is Ahmed here and everybody has, might be wondering by now uh, why am I taking a video of a cardboard box that seemingly has garbage in it so has this channel gone into new new lows? No, no, just this is like, going to be like a nice introduction to what this video is going to be. Basically this is a box that I've hauled from my cousin's uncle and uh, I'm going to give a, like a huge story time special video for him later, shout out for him later. Basically he's the guy who uh, uh, introduced me to gaming, introduced me to the Nintendo and Mario and Zelda. He got me into RPGs like Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. So he's the guy responsible for what I am today with my hobby of gaming. So basically, uh, he's moving to another uh, house or another. Uh, yeah, he's moving to another house basically, and he told me to come by and uh, take some of his old stuff from him so uh, I did uh, filter out everything from this garbage that I took the, the main things out the ones that I'm gonna show in a bit so all the stuff here are unfortunately stuff um, they're all like pirated versions of PS1 and PS2 games the remaining stuff and a couple of junk stuff that I'm not really gonna use here I'm most likely gonna throw all this away this is like movie and video stuff that are not related to uh, whatever going to show next. So yeah, uh, and here's the big reveal basically. This is all the nice stuff that I found uh, <laughs> from that pile of junk there. And let's uh, go step by step here. First off, this is the gem of my collection basically, or what I found. And I'm really happy with this because you know, uh, uh, here in the Middle East, uh, in Saudi Arabia in specific, we don't have a lot of retro stores. We don't have retro uh, stores and like the retro feel has been lost here basically and not a lot of people uh, keep their old games and a lot of people you know have the, the, the retro consoles and the uh, retro anything that's N64 and before you know you, you, it's really hard to find uh, people selling them around here and there. So I'm really happy that I stumbled upon some NES games that uh, my uh, cousin's uncle actually kept in, good, in pretty good condition uh, for for what it is you know because it hasn't played games in years basically and, and it's nice to have these in like not bad condition uh, I did have the, some of these NES titles back in the day but unfortunately a lot of them has been lost in translation I was a kid, I was a kid back then so I didn't uh, keep my NES I didn't keep my NES games I don't know what happened to them somebody took them somebody gave them away I don't know what really happened or what the story is behind them so let's get into the meat of the <laughs> meat of the video, and this is the basically I'm proud of uh, what I found from my cousin's uncle. Uncle, and the two obvious gems here are the golden games right there: The Legend of Zelda, the first one, and uh, Zelda Two: The Adventure of Link. Awesome games. I'm glad I found those, and I, all I need is a working console to to have to have to play these games on. I'm waiting for the Retron Five that's going to be out in April. Hopefully, that's going to give me my retro fix. Uh, short story about the Zelda 2, I actually prefer this over Zelda 1 because I do have a lot of nostalgic feelings toward uh, Zelda 2 in the sense that my cousin's uncle used to give me the controller and tell me to pass these certain areas that he couldn't pass, it was too hard for him and, it, and I passed a couple of them and it, to the point until it, I got to the Valley of Death and I just couldn't beat it. I, I, I still remember these uh, images vividly to this very day. And Mario 2, Mario 3, obviously both nostalgic games for me. I love these games and I'm glad, I glad I have them in my collection right now. Super Mario All-Stars, I lost my copy. So uh, I'm glad this is here. I'm really glad this is here, basically. Uh, you don't need to talk more about this. Basically, four games in one and they're all improved from uh, their Nintendo, uh, their NES uh, representative or respective uh, titles. And Crystallis is a game I don't know much about, but it's developed by SNK, so that's kind of surprising. I don't know much about this game. Actually, I need to read about it. I don't know if anybody like wrote an angry review or what wrote a uh, praising review about this or made a praising video about it. So we have to see. Check out YouTube. Check out some uh, retro sites. And Little Nemo is a game that I'm very nostalgic about. This is back in the Capcom Golden Era in which they were making like cartoon or license-based games uh, from Disney, like Ducktales and whatnot. This is not Disney, but it's you know close enough. Awesome movie. Awesome game. Uh, anybody who likes Mega Man would love uh, Little Nemo the Dream Master and I really hope that Capcom actually like re-releases or make makes HD remasters of these games in the near future. And here's something that uh, my friends over at uh, Project COE would be really interested to, to check out. First off is the original Mega Man uh, uh, cards for the Game Boy. 
this is uh, we have our resident Mega Man fan, which is Tim McKenzie, who loves this series. I haven't played the original. I did. I, I played Mega Man. What was it? I think four and three on the Game Boy, and they were both awesome. A lot of people say the original is like the worst of the bunch, so we'll have to check out, check this out and see what and see whether it holds up or not. And this is two games that uh, Jared would be really nostalgic about: Dragon Quest One and Two, and Dragon Quest Three, or Dragon Warrior, uh, as they were called back in the day. Very rare cards, so I hear they're really rare cards. So I'm glad I I stumbled upon those. Uh, my cousin's uncle is a huge Dragon Warrior fan. It's one of the first games that he's played back when he owned an NES and a Game Boy Color. Uh, he obviously played the original first and plays the remakes. I, I still remember to this very day. Uh, my child self watching him play Dragon Quest and seeing him battling slimes and bats and I was just like falling asleep oh this is boring I don't want to watch this anymore and uh, needless to say uh, it's ex the exact opposite when I'm <laughs> I, I want to hit my five-year-old self in the head and just tell him oh, you're gonna be playing this, these games once you grow older so interesting to have these it's really nice to 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 stumble upon these and here is uh, Final Fantasy uh, Legend 3, which is basically a saga game. It's part of the saga series, but they renamed it in order to grow, uh, make it popular in the, in the West. So I played this back in the day. Really hard game. Didn't finish it, but it, I, I, I loved the fact that it, it had a lot of time travel and a lot of science fiction thrown into the mix. It was kind of a quirky game. So this is a, a batch of manuals for the Game Boy Color games, basically. Really good condition as well, so I'm, I'm glad to have these two. Uh, he threw in, I, I don't know, I'm surprised that he didn't find Final Fantasy Adventure and Final Fantasy Legend 2. I'm sure that he has those somewhere, but he, he didn't stumble upon them when he gave me the box. All he found is the game of three, and these are the manuals. Again, in not bad condition, considering uh, where he kept them, you know. And this is a really good condition map of uh, Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color. Awesome stuff. Very awesome stuff. And these are like uh, Game Boy uh, protective cases. I haven't seen these in a long, long time. I, I remember that I think they used to be bundled with uh, the Game Boy carts up to a certain point. And obviously, see, two of them are in great condition. One is in medium condition. One is in terrible condition. So... Cool stuff all around, and uh, you see over there. This is the GameCube. I don't know if it's working condition or not, but we just got uh, we just got through basically my uh, uh, my uh, cousin's uncle portion of the collection. You, the rest of the stuff is basically owned by him by his son, not him, because he, he. I think after the Super Nintendo, he just lost interest in playing. Uh, he used to play a couple of Game Boy games, and that's it basically. So the GameCube is his son's, and I'm not sure if it's working, but we have Crystal Chronicles here, and we have Smash Brothers inside. I have copies of all of those, but I don't have a copy of a working GameCube, so we'll see how it goes. And here is Super Mario Sunshine, basically. So next up is uh, some Saturn games. I'm surprised that those are thrown into the mix, and they're all originals, so that's cool. Obviously, they don't come with their manuals or boxes, but uh, I'll take what I could get. I don't have a Saturn right now, but again, the guys over at COE, or specifically Jared, is a huge Saturn fan, so it's nice to stumble upon those. I'm not sure how rare or how common these games are, but uh, if I get a Saturn anytime in the future and it's cheap and whatnot, so I, I do have a bunch of games to play it. This is Virtual Cop, and this is Virtual Fighter 2. Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. I'm sure that's a great game. <laughs> and sarcasm. And NBA Action. Wow. Again, another great game. Daytona is a classic. I know this one. I know. That. I think. I, I think it, it, there's an arcade version of it. So, I've played this one. And a nice sampler or a nice demo. So that's that's interesting. That, that the demo is here, but not the full game. And these are like I don't know throwaway PS2 games. They're original, so I kept them. Again, for his son, not uh, my my cousin's uncle. Nothing really significant on the, except for this pirated copy of uh, Captain Tsubusa or Captain Magic as he's called here in the Middle East for I think the PS1 it looks like. So I just kept it for nostalgic purposes. I like Captain Tsubusa. The box of Spider-Man without the game. And finally we get to the last portion of the collection is uh, New Super Nintendo and N64 titles. And uh, there are a couple of good ones here. Uh, some of them I don't own. Most of them I do have a copy of. I just kept them for nostalgic sake uh, this is a game that a lot of people you know forgot about basically uh, Tiny Toon Adventures Buster Bust Loose 
this is developed by Konami, and I remember playing this game, and it was pretty good, and it was pretty difficult. Like, it's a 2D platformer, if I'm not mistaken, and it did have, like, multiple uh, ways to finish the game, multiple endings, and it was kind of an interesting game. I, I liked it. Uh, I liked playing this back in the day. And Donkey Kong Country and Yoshi's I do have those already. Over there, you see, like, three pirated copies and one, like, weird game called Mercenary Force. This is one I haven't heard for the, for the Game Boy. I haven't heard of it. Or I don't remember it. I don't remember it fondly. I don't know anything about it. And these are the pirated Game Boy, Game Boy games. Two copies of Link, Link's Awakening DX. I actually have one original. And this is like an 8-in-1 game. These are, these are one of the weird ones. Let me just focus on it. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon, and... What else? Dr. Mario. I can't really focus exactly. Hopefully this can... Show it well. Yeah, there we go. Dr. Mario, Soko San, Bomberman. Weird, <laughs> weird 8 in 1. Or 68 in 1, actually. <laughs> I read that. I misread that. 68 in 1. Oh my god. I'm sure that they don't have card saves. So, anyway, finally, the N64 titles. Again, most of them are games that I own Mario Party 2, Mario 64. I have that. Star Fox, I actually don't own. But I do have the 3DS remake, so I guess this makes makes this one obsolete. This is Majora's Mask is an interesting story. This is actually mine. I I lent it I lent it to him and he didn't return it and it looks in it, it's in terrible shape. You can even hear something going inside. I don't know whatever what was inside. So it's in terrible shape. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, which is unfortunate because I love this uh, card. See, it's golden and it has this like 3D effect in the in the titles. Uh, it's unfortunate. Smash Brothers, Ace the Army Man, and Hey You Pikachu, this is like a voice activated game, so this is going to be rendered useless for the N64. World Cup 98, GoldenEye, terrible shape, but uh, yeah, additional copy, whatever. Army Man, this is actually the game that my brother used to play, and he likes this game. I think he has a copy of that one. Battle Tanks, I can't remember. Uh, this, I, I didn't remember until I saw the the, 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 the the cart itself. Monster Truck Madness 64. This was a game I remember I, my friends and I were really into. I didn't play it by myself, but I used to play it heavily with my friends. And finally, uh, the least interesting game of the bunch, a Parp of Girl game for the N64. I don't know why this is here, but it's here. <laughs> Whatever. So, yeah. I guess that's it with the haul, basically, and it's a pretty good. It's a pretty good haul. I I, I like what I see, and I'm I'm glad. I at least there are some NES and Game Boy titles and Super Nintendo titles that I want. A couple of Saturn games, so it, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I'm sure that my cousin my cousin's uncle has more retro titles, uh, but I don't think he has time to find him find it with the moving process. I really hope I did give him a. Shout out, and I told him like after uh, hauling this, I told him if you can, if you find anything else, please don't throw it away. Try to just inform me, and I'll and I'll just take them off your hands if you don't want them. And I'm sure he has more retro titles. I am really I'm pretty sure, like a hundred ninety nine percent sure that there's more in the mix. Because uh, I did see, like I said, he did play games like Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest for the NES. So if he has those cards, man. That would be awesome. If he has those cards and he has maybe the boxes or something, that would be awesome. So, yeah, let's hope. Let's hope. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, sorry for rambling a bit and uh, marking, all the, uh, marking out all the NES titles. I just wanted to show this off to everybody. And uh, sorry for the youtube -y, shaky cam, uh, gorilla-style uh, photo shooting or <laughs> video shooting. But I like doing this from time to time. And... Uh, uh, next time, uh, if we get another haul, I'll, I'll make a video about it and uh, look forward to more uh, videos, uh, let's plays and let's tries and possibly like a, I'm trying to get to my eyes have to like uh, learn editing and uh, like make a professional review and hopefully that project comes into uh, works soon enough once I have free time. So enjoy this for the time being and uh, I'll catch you guys later if you want any suggestions of any games that I want that you want me to play or anything of that sort in Arabic and English whatever just inform me and uh, we'll be in touch so cool stuff and uh, catch you guys later bye bye